What's good, y'all? Jay Coffee on the vid. Let's talk some hip hop once again, man. And I found this interesting, man. Make sure to get up in the comments. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. But 50 Cent recently did an interview, you know what I mean? Speaking on uh, his legendary debut, you know, major label debut in the rap game with Shady Records, Shady Aftermath, G Unit inner scope machine get rich or die trying you know what i mean it was it was something we never really seen it was one of the best debuts ever in hip-hop the whole campaign everything that they did promoting that album it was crazy you know what i mean but i found this part very interesting as we know the first single the lead off single was in the club you know what i mean he had the wanks that um Wangsta dropping off the 8 Mile soundtrack and everything, and it was on the album and all that, but uh, In the Club was the official lead-off single off Get Rich or Die Trying, and we know that single, I believe it set some kind of records. It's, it, it, it blew up the charts. It did crazy numbers, and the video was dope. Everything, you know what I mean? It um, It helped push that amazing debut you know what i mean it all just went together so well but fifth actually did an interview and stated that that almost wasn't the original single uh jimmy Iveen and other people you know when they were in talks actually wanted to run with if i can't do it homie it can't be done and you know we know this all radio play later on i don't know that it was ever like officially released as a single but um you know basically when they were having talks uh you know jimmy Iveen, who we know is you know he's got crazy stripes a lot of juice a lot of pull you know what i mean and he he wanted to run with that one dre and m got together talked and you know m was like listen i think i think uh in the club is the way to go and fifth said let's go with what eminem's saying let's do in the club and you know the rest is history so tap in guys let me know your thoughts on this um you know if you thought that was a good move and everything and you know we we still see m and fifth are so solid to this day but i wanted to point something out that's interesting right we know i talk about this all the time like i'm all about the bars and all that you feel me but um when it comes to having a record be commercially successful you got to have you know those street records those records with bars but you also have to have those club hits those crossover records and you know i feel like in the club was kind of more right like wouldn't you guys consider it to be more of a crossover record um you know as we know fifth yeah he had that gutter music he had that hood music you know what i mean but it was like the streets were messing with them. The casual rap fans were listening, you know, rocking with them. Um, the radio, the fans of music who listen to the radio were rocking with Fifth. It, it really helped push him across the board with all audiences. You feel me? So had to be a smart move, right? And Eminem, right? Love him or hate him. It always seems that this has kind of been M's strategy with his albums. The first single is always like a popish type of song like a song i don't even think i'm really rocks with like that you know what i mean the slim shady lp first uh single was uh my name is you know what i mean uh, radio i guess would you guys say kind of a popish track a crossover song um you know we seen that off the rip going on trl and everything like that next album uh will the real slim shady please stand up was the first a single you know then the second one was the way i am which was a little more of a a darker song you know with some you know he was mad he didn't have the patience to deal with these cocky caucasians you know what i mean he, he it was a little he he switched it up on the second single then what was the next album um guess who's back back again that was the lead off and then the next one uh go crazy it's what it, well, i forget what was the one off that Oh, yeah, yeah, it was just lose it or something like that. I don't know. But you feel what I'm saying? M always kind of did that, came with that commercial record for the first release. And it kind of feels like, you know, maybe Dre schooled him onto that. And then, you know, M schooled Fifth onto that. And, you know, he took it and ran with it. And it is what it is. I don't know. That's just my take on it. 
I want to know what y'all think about this one. As always, that's what the Jay Coffee Talk platform is all about. So let's talk about it. Make sure to sub to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Daily content, music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. And listen, y'all, I'm moving around. You know, I've been on a, a cross-country uh, tour. You know what I mean? So I've seen some people talking about, you know, uh, my, my last uh, video the audio wasn't that great. You know what I mean? I didn't have my usual setup, so I just wanted to put something out there to tap in with y'all. But I'm back. Regular uh, schedule program is here. We good money. Sub to J Coffee Talk. Let's talk about Fifth M. First uh, single. All that. Catch you on the next 